One of the biggest issues confronting the world today is the impact that we human beings are having on the planet. Human beings are flying the planet, but they're flying blind. And flying blind is very dangerous. There's a poem by Philip Larkin where he mourns the current state of the world. And then he says, but at least somewhere there will be a clean ocean untouched by humanity that will always exist. We are poisoning the last wild environment that we had. We receive a lot of our food from the ocean. It's the basis of the environmental system. We need a solution to creating or recreating the clean oceans that we had. Now there's some really interesting experiments that you might run. You could put algae back in the ocean. There are a bunch of things that we could do. No one wants to run these large geoengineering experiments on a real global scale. What you want is to run them in simulations. And AIs might do that in a way that you could at least begin to experiment with and gain large public support for. The main problem that we have right now is that we don't understand how these systems work, right? Ecosystems are very complex. Everything interacts with everything. And we don't know what the impact is of what we do, but with more sensors and better machine learning to build models based on those sensors, we can actually understand how a whole ecosystem works. So with climate, we have the problem that some people are modeling how the ocean currents work. We have other people who are modeling the reflectivity of the ice caps, but we currently don't have a great way to merge all of these independent models together and be able to actually understand it as a global system. So we have more sensors, we have more data, but now we need to use that to have models of how ecosystems function, how different species, down even to individual organisms interact, how you know, the things that we're you know, putting into the atmosphere change the climate, et cetera, et cetera. And then we can actually do the following thing, which is we can simulate an ecosystem on a computer, and then we can, we can see what are the impacts of doing different things. And then we can do those things that actually, for example, give us the most gain for what we want while minimally impacting the ecosystem. And we also, for example, use it to understand which species really are important and which species are less important, right? Because at the end of the day, we often have to make hard trade-offs. And sometimes species that look very insignificant turn out to be very important because the whole ecosystem revolves around them. And sometimes species that are very, you know, that we're very fond of because maybe they're, you know, the cuddly animals uh, that turn out to be less important. So what AI can give us is the ability to actually see a little bit further down the road so that we can actually make better decisions.